The employees of the Royal Bank of Canada down their tools on Monday, demanding the bank's management show its willingness to begin negotiating a collective bargaining agreement for supervisors and line staff. The National Workers Union, which represents the RBC workers, says since submitting a proposal on July 17th last year, the RBC management has refused to begin negotiations. NWU General Secretary George Goddard says that sort of approach to industrial relations is unacceptable. Goddard says the RBC workers are entitled to the collective agreement under the Constitution. He says an agreement has become increasingly important given the economic situation where job security is questionable. Over the last 16 months, we have seen an unprecedented rise in prices and of course it has hit the workers very, very hard. And people need at this time to be able to sit down and to be able to tailor their conditions of work and their wages to reflect this. What is being demanded is that the bank come to the table, sit down with us, negotiate with us as it regards people's wages and their conditions of work. The country manager of RBC did not want to go into detail about the impasse, only to say that it's been addressed by the Labour Minister. Roxanne Solomon did indicate that the problem relates to the composition of the bargaining unit. The management of RBC is reportedly unhappy with the employees who were selected to negotiate with them. Solomon says she hopes the problem can be resolved swiftly. The issue is receiving the attention of Mr. Estefan, who is the Minister of Labour. And I want to put it on record that RBC is committed to fair and equitable employment practices and that we are addressing all avenues for resolution. The National Workers' Union says Labour officials, including the Minister Edmund Estefan, have held several meetings with the bank's management with no result. The NW General Secretary says RBC management remains doggedly opposed to the negotiations. Goddard wants the minister to be more decisive in resolving the issue. I would say there, there have been some five meet, meetings between October and, say, uh, three or so weeks ago to try to resolve this matter and still the, the matter is unresolved because the bank remains doggedly opposed to a realistic settlement of that matter. We are therefore protesting and we are calling on the Ministry of Labour to be more proactive and to be more effective in resolving this issue. The protest by the workers delayed the opening of the bank's William Peter Boulevard branch while the Rodney Bay branch had to be closed on Monday. The country manager of RBC says she hopes the operations at the bank can resume to normalcy as soon as possible. Shannon LeBon, HTS News Channel 4.